Yes, guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Arsenal Vault Show. Happy Monday to everyone. Of course, it's not really happy Monday if you're an Arsenal fan. Um, after yesterday's result, we're going to dissect all of that today. Arsenal losing to Una Emery's Aston Villa um, and completely bottling it yesterday. We're going to go all through that absolute... I still feel sick, man. Honestly, I still feel... I've still not got over it. I'm sure many Arsenal fans haven't as well, and I'm sure... We're all feeling very similar um, after seeing that result yesterday and, and after watching that performance yesterday as well. We're going to try and look ahead as well to Wednesday's game because we, we are back. Champions League quarterfinals, absolutely massive game at the Allianz Arena. And if we have time at the end, we're also going to go through a bit of uh, transfer news as well. Uh, we are joined by my man as always, um, Tony. Other than Arsenal, my guy, uh, how how you been keeping, bro? See ya. Um, Josh, <laughs> shit has hit the fan. Um, the final nail has been hit on the coffin. And you know what? Yeah, it wasn't away from home. It wasn't in a foreign war. It wasn't a war within our home, a war within our ground. Arsenal have bottled this year's um, premiership title. Typical of what we've been doing over the years. Um, See, so yeah, no matter how, this is very hard for me, you know. After yesterday, after yesterday's game, I, I cons considered stop doing streaming after mm. yesterday. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I, I, I considered just stopping the channel and, 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 and just... And just stopping doing streams. See, my brother, this year alone, I've done this year. I mean, this calendar year, when you take it back to to last year since the season started, I've done nothing less than 200 and something shows. Yeah. But to be very sincere with you, I, I know a lot of people who, who work hard, but I really, really put much effort to my channel and it's not it's not for making money you know how much do we make mm. it's about the love of the football club yeah and um yep. josh man i'm sorry after after yesterday i i considered to just end it all but i i'll still continue in a way you know uh i'll still continue but it was it was painful it was hurtful. The way we capitulated was horrible. Um, I know we'll get deep down into it when the show starts, but yeah, and I'm and I'm sorry starting this way, but this is how I feel. Uh, yeah, no, I, it's I, I feel bad. I feel bad. I feel distraught because mm -hmm. I'm usually that that kind of person that usually want to want to tell people that there's there's light at the end of the tunnel. You know, I'm usually that person that really want to give people hope. I really want to tell people, hey, don't worry, keep going, you know, keep going. Uh, uh, don't give up. There's still that, you know, there's still more games for us to 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 win. And, and there's yeah. still a chance for City to drop points and, and there's still a chance that we could win. And um, But my brother, man, uh, that's how I would continue in that narrative. It would be just a bunch of lies, and I and and yeah. the few people who follow me—not that there are many—but the few people who come to watch my, you know, come to watch my channel and watch my shows. I, I just really think that I will be lying to these people. I will be doing them a disservice. I I I will be um, I will be lying in front of their faces if if I sit down on my channel and 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 give these people hope that Arsenal is going to win anything, that Arsenal is going to put up a fight. You know, it's not like I like being like this, but but all I feel is pain, man. Yeah. All I feel is oh. pain. Of course. Yesterday, Look, honestly, I wanted to smash my head on the wall. Yeah. Just, because it was, it was painful, man. I've waited goddamn years for this. I've put in work into this. Yeah. Only for the exactly, Arsenal. Bro. Exactly, Tony. Look, 
I feel your pain. I, I, I'm in the same boat as you. I mean, and this is not the first time this football club has made us feel like this as well. I mean, we've been, I mean, I, I've been alive, I'm, I'm 17 now. I've, I've watched this club for at least 15, 14 years. And year in, year out, I'm seeing the same old story. I said it yesterday after the game, it's the same old Arsenal. You know, year in, year out, when we, it's like a circle, goes round and round and round in circles. We get our hopes up. You know, of course, we support our team. You know, we get behind the players and we get behind the manager and, and the season in general. And even especially this season where we're in, we're in a great position. So seven games left, win all seven, we win the league title. But year in, year out, it's the same old story where Arsenal Football Club just capitulate. And honestly, I really do feel your pain. I felt absolutely sick myself. I felt like I was going to throw up yesterday watching that perf- second half performance, watching that result. Uh, sorry, looking at the result, you know, just it's just reminding me of the same old Arsenal year in year out, and um, yeah, you know, I'm I think we're we're all in a very similar boat um, in terms of just pain. Really, it's just it is honestly just painful. What well, you know, just seeing this football club that you know we, as you said, the way how we all grind, how we, I mean, even even if you don't do YouTube, guys, you, you still get behind your team. You know, you you watch Arsenal week in week out. How, even though how everyone gets behind the team and then you know we all get our hopes up we, we, all, we all get hyped up and it all comes crashing down man and it's been like this every single season for the past many many years people and honestly yeah you know you guys know tony yeah yeah <laughs> this guy is one of the most energetic guys on youtube yeah but look, look at him today, man. He's absolutely rejected because of what happened because because of Arsenal, and this is what the club does to us, man. But yeah, we're gonna try and obviously, you know, dissect what happened yesterday. Uh, big up everyone in both the channels as well. Uh, my channel, big up to everyone, and also Tony's channel. We're both live on uh, yeah. Molly Shoot today, so big up to uh, Tony. Big, big, big ups, big ups to well. everyone. And uh, make sure you guys uh, leave your thoughts uh, down there as well. But. Let's get into this, man. Let's get into this. Um, obviously, 2-0 to Aston Villa uh, yesterday at the Emirates Stadium. Where do we start this? I think let's just start at the beginning uh, with this lineup. Arnsetta deciding to play Havertz. That's the first thing I noticed, playing Havertz back left centre midfield when the guy's been playing very well. And you know me... You, you in particular being really giving big credit to Havertz. You even, you know, held your hands up to Havertz saying, you know what, this guy's proved me wrong because of how he's been playing as a striker. Been excellent playing as a striker. Been on fire form as a striker. And Ante decided, no, actually, I want to put him back into left centre midfield. Don't know why he would do that. And yeah, you know, I thought the, the, the thing that doesn't get me, Tony, is we started the game off well. Um, I thought 20 minutes in, we started the game with really well. We had some good chances. Um, you know, Odegaard was putting chance on the plate for Havertz, for Jesus, for Saka. Putting him chance on the plate. And I thought he was probably our best player in that first half. And um, it was getting half-time, nil-nil. I'm like, okay, now, what are you, what are you, you going to do now? Because we've got 45 minutes to get a goal and to win this game, right? Because a nil-nil draw would would have been unacceptable anyway. I was like, what he needs to do is make some <coughs> subs early. Make the subs early. Make some changes early on. So, uh, this, you know, change things around. Go and get this winner. But the, the time went on and on and on and on. And Villa came out a lot more better and a lot more stronger in that second half. Um, and, you know, the, the, and the warning signs were there. When, you know, uh, Yuri Timlins hit the boat, uh, hit, hit the crossbar and hit the post. The warning signs are there. Like, hold on a minute. We need to start scoring now. Otherwise, we're going to be in deep trouble. And uh, yeah, it got about, you know, 60, 70 minutes. I was getting worried. And then look what happens. Look what happens. You know, Leon Bailey gets in the winner. <laughs> Awful defending from Arsenal. Zinchenko, the left back in right midfield for some reason. Why you in right midfield for their first goal is beyond me. Leon Bailey scores 1-0 Villa. Um, and then, the, and then the second goal, Oli Watkins, you know, wraps the game up, kills the game off. But I have no idea why Smith Rowe was the last man behind the ball defending as well. Uh, oh, you, oh, you just, noticed that? Yeah, you, you noticed that that he was the last man defending, right? Yeah. Good, good. See, we'll, we'll get into auditioning again. Yeah. First, 
let's let's first get things into perspective. Let this sink in. The manager that Arsenal Football Club dismissed to bring in this manager, Unai Emery. Beat us at home at Villa Park, 1-0. And then came to our home and dumped on us. Two goes to nil. Just let that sink in. Like, for, forget every other thing. Like, forget every other thing that happened yesterday. Just, just think about it. That the manager that we sacked, we threw away from this football club, did a double over the Arsenal this season. Let Embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. Everyone wanted Emery out. Yeah. And, yeah, you know, yeah, he, he lost dressing towards the end. Yeah. But everyone hounding Emery out. This is not, and it also beat Arteta when, he, when he's at Villarreal in the semi finals. It's not the first time that Arteta has been dumped by Emery. Three exactly. times Arteta has been dumped by Una Emery, who was deemed not good enough. Who we obviously Arsenal sat now. Him coming back to do the double over us is absolutely embarrassing. Don't get me wrong. I actually rate Emery as a manager, by the way. I think he's a quality manager. The job he's doing at Aston Villa. But for him, we sat the guy, you know, our ex-manager coming back to the Emirates <sighs> and beating us 2-0, keeping a clean sheet in the process and completely <sighs> out-tacticking and outclassing Mikel Arteta. See, we've totally forgotten that um, Aston Villa played an Europa League matchup on, on Thursday. Mm. I hope you remember that, Yeah. Arsenal yeah. played that dreaded game against that dreadful, dreadful game against Bayern Munich uh, on Tuesday. So we had Wednesday to rest. They had Tuesday night to rest. They had Wednesday night to rest. They had Thursday night to rest. They had Friday night to rest. They probably had Saturday bar training to rest. And then you come up on Sunday. While Aston Villa only had Friday to rest and Saturday to rest. And then they came back there to dunk on us. They were missing players. No Douglas players. Louise. No Douglas Talismanic Louise. Talismanic players. No Douglas Louise. Which is the, you know, who is the talisman? And he was missing yesterday. But Arsenal deemed it fit. To, to drop points. And again, all this thing is happening just immediately after Arsenal fans have had a good laugh, yeah, at Liverpool because they lost to Crystal Palace. Mm -hmm. And instead of us to go down there and do the job at home, in no other place, we're not going to Villa Park. We didn't go to Villa Park. We're not going to any other ground. It was in our ground, our home. It was supposed to be the, you know, the the finished job. And this is the problem with Arsenal, with lack of concentration. The games were not supposed to even win by six goals to nil, five goals to nil. We do it. And then when it comes to the crunch time, just that time you just want us to get over the line. That's when the players decide to capitulate. What was Zinchenko doing? Like, see, we have a left back here. That, that, like, just put this into perspective. Yeah. We have a left back. Who isn't playing left back role? It was at the right hand side. Doing what? No, help me understand. Where was this guy? Even our defense, yeah, even our defense. Let, let's extricate Zinchenko away from that. Let's just have that feeling like, okay, maybe he wasn't the right trying to show up something. How about Declan Rice? See, yeah, I know this guy has been the backbone, you know, for us almost throughout the season. But again, again, you have to, you have to critique these mishaps. Going yep. on down there, he was at the left hand side covering for whoever is down there, or who was supposed to be down there, and it was it was nowhere to be found around Leon Bailey at all. Our goalkeeper totally 
misjudged, you know, everything. He's nowhere, he's not fast enough. Doesn't have the third eye to anticipate where the ball is going. And mind you, there were warning signs even before those that goal came yeah. in. Those goals came in. Two warning signs, you remember? Uh, one hit the bar, went out of the way. Yeah. Another yeah. one hit the you know the internal part of the of, of the post and hit the other bar again to the opposite side and went out again. Those were warning signs. No, the the corners didn't take hit. Kai Havert. Chant upon chant upon chant. See, yeah, it's our time we have to start saying, you know what, yeah? Where was the striker that should have come in? Because, you know, yeah, after the after the Gunners started scoring 30-something goals in eight games, yeah, Arsenal fans, including me, totally, totally threw out of the picture, yeah, that we didn't sign a prolific striker in the summer. We completely threw that away. And now yeah. it's coming back to Hunters. Two good chances for Kai Havertz to just slot it into the net. One one-on-one -on -one and one it was just like, bro, it was, it, it, see, these are bitter pills to swallow. It's painful. No Arsenal fans should watch this. Horrible in the first half that Martin Odegaard was saucing and, and 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 trying to open up play and trying to find players here and there. And then this bozo of a manager decides to change this guy, the only guy that is actually cutting up the defenses of our opposition, the only guy who is actually making something happen in the middle of the park. And then this bozo of a manager decides to hack him off. What was this manager thinking? Zichenko played almost, I think, 90 minutes. Wow. How? How? <sighs> Bro, I'm in paint, man. I'm in paint. In fact, I didn't want to show up in any shows, but I just have to do it. I just have to do mm. it. This is painful, man. It, 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 it's hurting. How many times do we have to see this, Josh? How many times do we have to be in this, in this circle, in this loop? Time after time after time again. Us going into the transfer window, not doing the right business. Us going into the conferences and then this manager bamboozle us with lots of sideshows and, and, and lots of cookery talk and and, and 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 oh my god man it's hot for seeing what Aston Villa did to us yesterday. It hurt me. I'm in pain. My back mm -hmm. aches my head is banging. It was horrible man. It was horrible. Yeah. And sure. if there's if there's any gunner out there right now thinking that we're gonna come out of this alive I'm sorry, man. You must it's be done, smoking. Tony. It, it's done. It's done. It's over. Dogs kush. It, it's done. It's, it's done. It's it's over now. We 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 had it's our over. chance and, and we blew it. It's simple as that. It's as simple as that, guys. We had the chance and we blew it. And um, yeah, it's it's not for the first time, but yes, honestly, spot on there as always, Tony. This this what what so many things about this game for me, just. The whole, you know, mentality of this team as well, and the whole, the fact, what the the two different half is, and I know the first half we obviously should have took our chances. I hear that hundred um, percent. Obviously, Havertz had to. I mean, Odegaard, as we said, was sourcing, but two was putting chances on the plate for our players, and we just wasn't taking them. Yeah, but the <sighs> but the difference to me and the drop off I saw in that second half, yeah, was embarrassing. I was like, what is his manager? What did that manager say to them at half time to come out and play like that in that second half? And then the manager himself has got to take big responsibility and big criticism as well, in my opinion, for that game. Waiting until we got 20 minutes left to make the subs. Why does he make his subs so late? Why can't he be bold enough to make a sub at half time? You know, and, and again, have you also noticed that this manager also also waits for the other manager to make a change before yeah. he actually starts making his changes. Henry Paul Leon Bailey, proactive. didn't he? 
And it's in, see, yeah, it's in these small spaces. It's in these small discourses. It's in this small spectrum that leads us to the bigger picture. If this manager has really learned anything in the four years and four, four or five seasons he's been at Arsenal. Yeah. But what experiences has he gotten? And again, we're capitulating at the same time, penultimately and ultimately, at the same time uh, that we capitulated last season. It's almost the same time and almost in the same fashion. It, it, see, it's déjà vu all déjà over vu, again. Yeah. It's déjà vu all over again. The same thing, the same dis the defensive issues plaguing us, the same lack of concentration issues plaguing us, the same lack of spirit, the same lack of desire, the same lack of urgency. I saw no urgency in this Arsenal team. And see, yeah, Josh, in a physical game like this where Aston Villa came physical, defending properly, trying to open up uh, 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 the Arsenal in counter-attacks and in transitions. And our midfield capitulating, where was Thomas Partey? On the bench. Oh, on the bench. Baffling. It has Fabio Vieira sitting down on that bench. He's no more injured. Why did you put for a million dollars on a guy who came in from Portugal and he's not playing. You don't even trust him to play. Like, is this manager, is he, is he sane? Is this man okay? I'm sorry, man. We'll, we'll, actually, I'll be, I'll be, because now I'm now ref for the finish, um, for the finish um, uh, league, because I'm also a referee now. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be doing a watch along uh, uh, for that um, uh, Bayern Munich Arsenal matchup. I'll be having a league match to 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 ref on the day. But it happens that I'm very very happy that I wouldn't be doing a watch along for that matchup because see, mm. bro, we are gonna be beaten black and blue. We're going to be disgraced at Munich. We're going to be burnt at the stake. And it's going to pain. It's going to be hard. Any Arsenal fan who is going to watch that matchup, I pity you. Because it's going to scotch your heart. You're going to be pained. You, you will lose it. Totally. If if you want to keep any any sanity remaining in you, don't watch that match on Wednesday. You're going to be burnt badly. If we cannot defend against Aston Villa in our home, home, what gives you the temerity? What gives you the cojones that you're going to go to the heart of the Bavarian tribe and go there and, mm. and, and keep a clean sheet? Bro, we're going to go down. We're going to get roasted. We're going to be burnt alive down there, man. And yep. it's going to be too bad. It's going to be so bad. Just imagine Harry Kane dunking on us on that one. Oh, bro. He dunked on us down here without fans. How about yep. where German France is screaming at the top of their lungs, uh, you know, with their banners and their flashlights and tiki takas and whatever they have down there, man. Mm. Bro. We are gonna be scotched. I'm sorry. Yeah, I want. I want to ask you a question. Yeah, um, about just this whole Arsenal team and this mentality of, of this team, right? And Arteta in general, because as you mentioned rightly, there, this is not the first time we're seeing Arsenal capitulate this season, and and no, and, and also last season as well. As you said, very. It's like deja vu, Tony. As you said, deja vu from last season. We was in the title race, eight points clear, top of the league, and we capitulated. You know, Southampton, bottom of the league. Yeah, even when we had Arteta, when we was trying to battle for top four, we were fourth and then we got battered by Tottenham and we capitulated and even bottled top four. You know, what do you put it down to? Do you, do you really sit? Because I see a lot of people compare Arteta and I think based on currently how he's doing, yeah, and don't get twisted, we've all gave big credits to this manager, Arteta, but I see many people say he's a nearly manager, like a Liverpool, like a Brendan Rodgers, for example, who... Got them up there, but didn't get, get didn't get didn't get them over the line. Like, 
Pochettino with Tottenham. Got them up there, but didn't get them over the line. Do you see similarities with uh, Arteta based on how he's done so far and how we've capitulated yet again, Tony? Or what do you put it down to? Bro, is it, see, is there any see? Isn't the proof in the pudding already? Mm. Can, can't we see that this manager can get us over the line? Can, can't you see? Isn't it clear? Isn't isn't the picture perfect and clear for us to see that this manager is inept, that this manager has no character, that this manager can govern us this team? Isn't it clear enough? How much more damage should we wait for this manager to orchestrate that Arsenal Football Club before we get back to our centres? Bro, the first thing I said to you, it, it seems like it just went... Uh, I'm telling you that the manager that we sacked in place of this guy came to the Emirate and dunked on us. It, <laughs> like, it, it, isn't it making sense to you? Can't you see it? Isn't it real to you? If mm. it, see if this if you're not seeing these things, yeah, anyone who's not seeing these things, like why are you a fan in the first place? This guy can't get us over the line. It's not possible. Yeah, they gave him sixty million pounds, sixty sixty five, and I went to get Kai Havertz. I was already sold on Kai Havertz this season. To be very sincere. He's tried more than what he can do. But this is his best. To be very sincere, we've milked that guy. We've milked him of goals this season. That's his best. Exactly. The manager, actually, the manager has to take blame for everything. To be very sincere with you. This manager did not get us a prolific striker. See, there's also one more case, Josh, you totally throwing out the window and I want to call you to this Bukayo Saka let's talk about oh. it let's open yes. that kind of worms those of you in the charts let's open that kind of worms how about that let's talk about it let's talk about Bukayo Saka what was the first thing in the first 10 minutes that you saw about Bukayo Saka just anything the first thing you saw guys in the charts what was the first thing you saw in the first 10 minutes watching Bukhara Saka well anything pretty. I'll wait for anyone who would say it but not a lot I'll be real not a lot Tony something happened down there in the first 10 minutes with Bukhara Saka can anyone tell me what happened in the first 10 minutes with Bukhara Saka, I'll give it two minutes. Anyone? Anyone? Yeah. Two minutes. Anyone? Including you, Josh. If you knew what happened, tell me in the first two minutes. And it's very crucial. In the first uh, two ten minutes. minutes. In the oh, first two minutes. minutes. In the sorry, in the first ten minutes. Yeah, first ten minutes. What happened to Bukhara Saka? Minutes. In the first 10 minutes, anyone? Anyone? Yeah, okay. man. Um... <laughs> no one has an idea? Were you guys not watching the match? In the, fir in the first eight minutes, Bukhara Saka was clutching on his armstring. Oh... Yeah. He was clutching on his armstring. Yeah. He was yeah. clutching on his armstring. He's playing injured. How about that? He's injured. In the first eight minutes, this guy was holding his armstring. He's injured. He's, he wasn't fit enough to play in that matchup. And we keep playing him. But this, but this is, a and thing, that's Tony. why, and that's why, from start to finish, Bukhara Saka disappeared and was like a complete ghost in that matchup. Would you believe? But me? then it reverts back all the way to our window business and not signing someone to back him up. 
someone is someone is realizing what well, you know finally you can see the problems it's I mean, a transfer window yeah how many yeah. times have, have, have we sit there have we sat there Tony, and first say, 10 minutes it was first 10 minutes he was already injured in the game he was holding his hamstring how many times and have we this been manager this doesn't before, trust nelson he doesn't trust nelson to come no he doesn't so who do you trust you don't trust Emmy Smith Rowe, he gave a good account of himself against Luton. He doesn't trust Vieira, someone you spent forty million dollars to bring into this team from Portugal on the bench, down and out. You don't trust Thomas Partey, who was who was free, ready to play, the best CDM in this league, bar Rodri, when injury free. Yeah, you don't trust anyone, and Bukayo Saka is injured. And you're still putting him down there to play? Bro, the professor in the pudding. The manager needs to go. He needs to leave. He can't get us over the line. He's not experienced enough. Yeah. This manager can go to Real Sociedad and win a trophy. It's possible. But not for Arsenal Football Club. The professor in the pudding. And anyone who still thinks that this manager is good enough for this football club, well, good for you. Maybe yeah. we we'll have to wait another 20 seasons. By that sure. time, maybe... Um, Pep would have left every other manager, would have, you know, yeah. left the place. But again, man, this guy will still fail. He will still bottle it. He's not experienced enough. His technical know-how is 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 useless. His substitution and his reaction mm. in terms of, uh, 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 you know, being proactive when making substitutions. His substitutions yesterday also, all questionable. Everything questionable again you made mention what did he tell these guys you know in the halftime break because when they came in they looked like people who just went to you know who just went to ibiza and and forgot to catch the flight and then they were at mabella that's just how they looked like horrible it, horrible second half show man this is the it's thing crazy. though tony like you have to also look at the the higher power in our club and the board because no matter what happens to this manager, he's going to be staying here. They're, they're looking to offer him a new contract. They're, they're, they've, they've hyped this guy up so much, Tony, yeah? With all these phases, you know, we're in phase four or five. All, this whole project, you know, processes, yeah? And only, like, the fans, this is why half the... Every, <coughs> Half the fans, yeah. If if you say one 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 bad word about Antetar, you get absolutely slaughtered. Yeah, exactly. Matt, Matt I don't know. Absolutely slaughtered because this board have hyped the guys up so much, and the guys are going to be saying nevertheless, Tony. So for me, you look. Yeah, I, I look at the higher power. Yeah, I, I get it. They've put money. They've backed this manager more than anyone. Seven hundred million. He's going to be going to spending. Plus summer January, he'll be one billion. This manager will spend one billion at Arsenal Football Club. And it is what twenty years since the last time we won the league title. It is we've never won the Champions League before in 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 history. Still, we got to the final 06, but still haven't won it yet. <laughs> the end of the day, this will be what since the FA Cup. How many years Arsenal has been here without winning anything else? I think it's four or five, including Bro, this season. This manager can't get us over the line. Let's be very clear about this. He can't get us over the line. The manager needs to leave. He needs to leave. And you know what? Yeah, I I'm not even waiting until he totally bottles it finally and go down to um, Allianz Arena and get destroyed. That, that sack needs to come now. I'm sorry, man. It needs to come now. Because, the, see, bro, the, the proof is there. Win this game and six more games... We, we win the league title. title. Yeah. You win the oh, we didn't. Title. We bottled it. Again. Bro, we bottled it. See, there is no greater proof that any Arsenal need, any Arsenal fan need than this one. If there's any proof that we needed, this was it. That this magic that can't get us over the line. <coughs> His antics doesn't show that. His character doesn't show that. His technical know-how doesn't show that. His tactics doesn't show that. And then, you know what, yeah, they asked this manager, yeah, 
you had Thomas Partey on the bench. That was his post match conference. You had Thomas Partey on the on the bench. Why didn't you play Thomas Partey? Do you know what this arrogant manager said to them? What did he say? He said, I am the manager. I make the decisions on who is going to play. So it's not even based on footballing reason. <laughs> it's based on favoritism. Exactly, man. Because in what way, in what way you do know that Jorginho is in the is in a double 90 minutes kind of player. He's an old guy. He needs time to rest. And mind you, remember I said this thing to you before. I told you about Jorginho, about us putting him in matches repeatedly. That exactly. guy needs a rest. He's not in his 20s. That guy's not 26. That guy's not 25. He's in his rough, rough edge of 30s. And and we're putting him back to back in 90 minutes game. Are you serious? No rest, nothing. Are, are, are this guy serious? I, I, sincerely, I think Mikel Arteta is drunk. And um, real talk, um, bro, man. I don't, I don't see us getting anywhere from here. It's done. It's done. Bro. The stars aren't aligning, and and this is th this is the problem. Yeah, look at a Tottenham fan down here, Elias. Shout out to Elias is on my channel. You know, a Tottenham fan coming down here to laugh at us. Mikel Arteta cost it. He cost it. Mm. Did you see? Did you see the fan base yesterday? Yeah leaving this the stadium in droves oh my days disgraceful man well, it's disgraceful but again would you blame those fans out there it's the same way i feel i would leave that place it's disgraceful yeah i, I get it but i would leave that place how many mm. times do we have to how many times do we have to do this how many times do we have to go down that lonely road? How many times, Josh? How many year times? Year in, year out, bro. It's year in, year out, Tony. Every How many single times year? do we have to go down this road? It's horrible. It's pitiful. It's condescending. It's demeaning. I mean, man. Yeah, I mean, bro. no, man. Just it's imagine dumb. what they've got. Just imagine what they're calling us Arsenal fans out there, man. Goofballs. Butlers. Yeah, it's 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 over, man. And and the people were saying oh, name in the book we've been called that. Yeah. Yeah, but this is the thing. Everyone there's half the, the fans sitting there saying, Oh, we it's still not over yet. We've got six games left, we can still win the league. Do do they not realize <sighs> about Man City? Man, when have Man City ever dropped points in this position towards the end of the season? They haven't. The, the guys, it's over. It's done. The, the the league is done, guys. Yeah, it's, it's over. Like, it's, it's it's like we we're not winning anything it's this over. season, people. It's, it's another over. season where we win no trophies, people. It's over. And then there's no one, see, and then there's no again, coming back from this. Yeah, there's no coming back from this. It's over. And you know where we lost it, Josh? Yeah, where we lost it was in that game against. Manchester City. Mm. Have you noticed that since we came back from Manchester City, everything has gone wrong? Since we reverted back to that defending, back to that blocking our, you know, playing that negative kind of football to stifle Manchester City's uh, uh, attacks during the time at the 80 had. And since then, we've been trying to actually play defense forcefully and, and look at what's happening to us. That's 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 what happens when you tweak and change the way you play. Without the without the right personnel to get you over the line. That's it. And yeah. right now the defense that got us over the line over the season can't even defend again. Saliba looking clueless. Gabriel was outwitted by a play. You, and mind you, if you saw the, the the first goal, it came through a corner kick, got to another player. I don't know who that player, I've forgotten the name of that player, but it passed the player. Gabriel completely missed that tackle. It, it was just, it, it just completely missed it. And then that ball went towards Declan Rice 
and passed, uh, you know, flashed across his face down to uh, uh, Leon Bailey, who was down there sharp, a lot enough. You know, if Declan Rice was more sharper, more quicker, he would have gotten to that ball and covered base uh, with Leon Bailey. But mm. he didn't run. He felt lazy to even have any run, you know? Yeah, yeah. Bro, it's pitiful, so, man. It's pitiful. It and is. again, that second goal should should spell everything for you. Emmy Smith <laughs> Rowe was the last defender. Oh See, my that dang. should spell it for us. Arsenal exactly. fans in the chat, that should spell it for you guys. <laughs> Emmy Smith Rowe, who just came in the second half, who we've thrown away, who was demeaned by this manager, was the last player defending for us in that second goal against Ole Watkins. Let that sink in. Where were all yep. your defenders? Where was Saliba? Where was Gabriel? Where was Zichenko? Absolutely was embarrassing. Seriously, absolutely embarrassing, Tony, man. And um, yeah, as, as, as we said, guys, it's done. You know that we could pitch later yet again. But um I want to move to this game on Wednesday. Um, obviously, Champions League. <sighs> Bayern Munich now. Two to an hour ago. <coughs> Allianz Arena, Tony. Wednesday night. I mean, you said it, uh, if, you know, earlier. Um, this will be a long, long night, won't it, on Wednesday, my friend. I mean, I just want to get your thoughts on that first leg. And that for me, that was an awful result. All right. And the defending like that in the first leg as well. We saw Gabriel and Saliba making two awful mistakes you know yeah there's all the penalty situation at the ends but ask fans they can't have it both ways tony whether or not you think it was a penalty towards the end for saka we got away with one i don't know if you saw when gabriel ha um handballed it or you know played it to Raya and you know we got very lucky there as well so we can't really have it both ways at the end of the day that was a poor result because we've seen how poor arsenal's european array record is and we've seen how hostile Bayern Munich um, is. And they're very good at home as well. The Allianz Arena at the end of the day. You know, and that's a great result for them. And a poor result for us because we've got to go and take the game to them in the second leg. But I want to get your thoughts on, on Wednesday night, bro. Um, away at the Allianz Arena. Just quickly give me your thoughts on, on that first leg, you know, and that result and how you're feeling going into the second leg, bro. See, yeah. Uh, um, throughout the season, the... the... The thing about this team that has actually um, uh, given me the confidence to go into games and say, hey, with my full chest and say, you know what? Yeah, we're going to go into this game and we're going to win has yeah. been our defense. It's actually not our attack. It's mm -hmm. actually not our midfield. It has always been our defense because I've always felt that this defense will get us over the line. But right now, the same old mistakes have crept into this defense right now and into the dying minute of the season you know the the you know at the dregs of the season the time that matters that's when the bottling has started and um and uh, and see yeah i'm i'm afraid man uh that defense can get us over the line in germany before the match up yesterday, I was actually looking at, okay, Common is out. Afonso Davis is out of that matchup on the day because he was suspended. Uh, Serge Gnabry, Gnabry you know, yeah. has an hamstring yeah. injury. He won't be playing. But again, Leroy Sané. Actually, Gnabry wasn't even really in that matchup in the first, in the first, uh, in the first game. It was actually Leroy Sané that was yeah. actually... Uh, you know, the orchestrator and, and, and the protagonist in chief or villain, if you want to say. He was the one orchestrating everything. Yeah. And again, one thing I've seen with Bund in the Bundesliga this season, yeah, is with Bayern Munich not being good enough in transitions and good enough in counterattacks this season. Despite what they have, despite what they have right now, usually what it is is usually they look the ball up to Kane and they get get to score goals or they might to get the ball across the line to the 18 yard box and scramble and then Kane just gets uh, you know his, his, his typical headers and his typical jostling and bossing and gets a goal uh, they're not a team that's really quite quick in transitions or even uh, more efficient in counter-attacks this season 
But I saw against Arsenal what they did against Arsenal. Yeah, they were quicker, they were faster, they were more versatile, uh, they were more sharper. They wanted it more, and they had the desire to to get over the line and and get something. And mind you, they had a, a disadvantage on the day. They went with their fans. So now take this back down there to Allianz Arena in a place where Arsenal have been scorched and not just scorched, they have been burnt alive in that place. Let's get that correctly. It's not a good hunting ground for the Arsenal. We've been beaten black and blue. We've been bruised in that place. We've been crucified in that place. It doesn't matter. We have been bruised in that place. Now imagine this team that can defend against Leon Bailey and Ole Watkins. <laughs> and again, now imagine that same defense going down there and facing Harry Kane and Leroy Sane, who will be primed. Mm-hmm. See, they'll be licking their lips right now after what happened against Aston Villa. They'll be like, oh my God, we could actually tear these people to shreds. Because when they when they see what happened here yeah, yesterday, they're gonna come at us with the full force of the German, of the German Bavarian army. I'm talking of the Bayern Munchen players. That see, they're gonna face us. With an armory, they're gonna come at us. There'll be no fear. And 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 that's the problem. When you come at Arsenal, when you threaten us, we capitulate. And it happens that this is the time when we actually dwell in that capitulation. See, man, I I, I don't see us getting away with a win at Bayern Munich. We're gonna be scotched there, and it's not. I'm not talking of one zero. I'm talking of the twos and the threes and the fours. Ooh. We will be spanked out there in Bayern Munich. Thank God I'll be refing the game. Thank God I won't be there. On, you yeah, know, watch along. It, it's going to be that bad. In fact, I, I would just tell anyone who cares, don't watch that match up. You're gonna be burnt, and you're gonna be burnt badly. Because if we can't defend against Aston Villa. I don't see how we can go down there to the heart of Bavaria and go down there and and defend properly. I, I don't trust these players. I don't yeah. trust David Raya. What is it with David Raya and getting out of his position? What is with David Raya and not staying within his 18-year box to actually yeah, have a clue at least where the ball is going? See, yeah, and we've totally forgotten that that ball hit the post like twice yesterday. Yeah, yeah. We've totally forgotten that. He was completely lost. Where where was he? Where was he? Yeah. This is a bigger problem. And we've 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 sort of destroyed a goalkeeper that was at least a little bit competitive last season in Ramsdale. And now I'm brought in this goalkeeper, and this is what he does to us. I don't know, Michael Arteta has yeah shit his pants, and um, he's disgraced us, man. That yesterday was a big disgrace. Mm. I, I feel pained all over me, man. I don't see us. I don't see us winning at Bayern Munich. We're gonna be smashed down there, man. And that smashing, it's it's not gonna be easy, man. It's it's it, it like it's gonna be a route. It's gonna be a route. It's gonna be a route. Yeah. And again, if, if if there's anything you know about Arsenal, you know we're losing clusters. You know that, right? Mm. Whenever we mm. lose, we're losing clusters. Exactly, like, bro. We don't, we don't lose exactly. in ones. We're losing t- twice, three times, four times yeah. in a row. We, we could go that bad, and it could stretch. We, we, you know, we could lose this game. We've lost this game to Aston Villa. We could go ahead and lose against the Bayern Munich. And then our heads will just be buried. It will just go down and then we're going to go and get a beating from Wolves. And then Chelsea will come up and then draw against us at home. And then that will just permanently put a nail on the coffin of Arsenal's title projection this season. It's that bad, man. It's that bad. I don't see... No, no, Josh, tell me. Is there anywhere you see any silver lining? No, bro. Honestly, I'm with Is you. Is there man. any anywhere you. any anywhere you see? Explain it to me. Show it to me if you think that there's any space we've not covered. Is there any 
any light at the end of the tunnel you're seeing. If there's any, please let me know. Bro, I'm I'm with you. The season's done, Tony. It's done. It's <laughs> it's finito. It's finished. The season is over. We blew it against Aston Villa. And now the momentum is ruined as well. The momentum in this game, we, we've just lost. As you said, Bayern will be licking their lips. Bayern will be going like this. Ah. Oh. Arsenal have just lost. That's what they'll do. Yeah. And, and bear in mind as well, Bayern Munich just lost to the Bundesliga as well. So they're going to be way fired up for this Champions League game. Uh, and also, uh, you know, the whole hostile crowd. And as you said, their, their fans are back in uh, Allianz Arena. You know, and we've seen the record when we go to Allianz Arena. And we've seen how good, you know, Bayern Munich have not lost a home game since lockdown 2021 against PSG. Tw- that is years ago. They are so consistent at home in the Champions League. We are not keeping the clean sheet if anyone thinks we can go there and keep a clean sheet. No chance, right? I don't see anything out of this game. And I hate to say that, people, but give me confidence, guys. Give me some reasons why we why, why you think we can go and beat Bayern Munich. Because do, do, do you actually see a way, Tony, that we can get something? Because I certainly don't, man. I, no, I, man. I, I don't. No, I man. don't. No. I really don't. I, 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 I don't see any way we're, we're going to Germany and getting anything. The, the worst I can see us doing is getting into penalty kicks after extra time. But still, I, right now, with what's happening, I don't still trust. I See, I, I don't even trust us getting a goal down there right now, man. I guess Manuel Neuer as well, um, for them, who's, who we all know who has been <laughs> one of the best goalkeepers in, uh, in, 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 in yeah. football history. Seriously. Yeah, so. Exactly. Even if we go to penalties, you know, we have against Manuel yeah. Neuer and, you know, some technical gifted penalty takers are buying like Harry Kane, Leroy Sane, you know, Thomas Muller. You know, they can all take penalties. So even if we do somehow manage to get the penalties, still we're not going to have that confidence. And I know anything can happen in penalties, but it's still one of those ones. And I just, I, I hate to say it, guys, but I think that first, it's, it's the first leg that killed us, man. If Because if, if we would have got, you know, a good result in the first leg, because as I said, this is a perfect result for Bayern Munich. Yeah. And they, they, they come here, they get a point at the Emirates. Uh, sorry, they get a draw at the Emirates. They can easily go now and, and win this leg. But for us, it's going to be so, so difficult to beat this Bayern Munich side. People can, this is what I don't like as well. People before the game, I saw on Twitter, yeah, pray for Bayern Munich. Oh, What's this all God. about, Tony? They, oh. Bayern Munich have got European pedigree. Yeah. Look how many times I won the competition. <laughs> To, to underestimate teams like that in the Champions League, this is Champions League, people. Yeah, we, we you just make you uh, you just make a laughing stock of yourselves when you're saying pray for Bayern Munich. What is this all about? Seriously, man. But yeah, um, yeah. I don't see anything um, at this game, guys. I, I said I think the momentum's dropped. And again, you you made a great point there. How many times have we seen Arsenal lose a game and then lose another one and another one? Like we lost to yeah, West yeah, yeah. Ham. We lost to Fulham. The, the, we lost to Liverpool. Like it it, it goes like that with the Arsenal. Whenever we lose one game, we just bury our heads in shame. Uh, you know, we don't look up. We just, we just, we just stop. We just stop for like three, four games. Wasn't it the same thing when we went into that seven games without a win uh, before we went to Dubai? Have you forgotten that one? Yeah, exactly. There yeah. we go. Exactly, there we man. Go, Tony. So, it just runs like a train uh, and this manager and then it is at those moments where you wonder what this manager actually tells the boys because it's during those times when the you know the games are coming in clusters and you're not getting points in clusters it's within those times that the manager has to do his job and try to get them uh, whip them back back into shape with the emotional standpoint whip their mentality back into shape but this manager right now, is he doing the same thing? Is he whipping this boy's mentality back in shape? Right now, what is he doing right now? Is he talking to them right now? Or are they having a kick about with a dog? Would win the dog? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, 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 these are the things that, that baffle me. What does he tell this boys? Does he let them know what is at stake? Mm. And, uh, Bro, it's a big problem, man. I, I don't understand. It is, bro. It is. I don't see any. I don't see any silver lining in Bayern, man. We're gonna be beating no. at Munich. 
I don't see it. Bro, I've tried to look at it from different aspects. How are we going to yeah. do this? And bro, man, I don't see it. No, I don't. Leroy Sane is going to cut in. <sighs> Harry Kane is going to have a few days. David Raya is going to be outside his 18-year box because he's going to panic. I've seen him literally panic in big games this season. Josh, do you doubt that? He's panicked against Liverpool. He's panicked against um, yep. Manchester City in both games. But the one at home and the one away from home. He panicked also in the game against Bayern Munich in the first one. Yesterday also... It was nowhere to be found. Very it true, man. All over the place. All over the And I hate my goalkeeper. Oh, see, it's in fact, it's better if he stayed in his position in that 18-yard box and, and tried to at least have a similarity of a goalkeeper who actually knows where the ball is going to. It, it, like, he it, it was completely clueless about it. His positioning is horrible. Oh, my days. Oh, bro, I, I don't understand this. And then this manager has the goal to get Martin Odegaard out. Bro, even this manager's substitutions in the grand scheme of things is even the most acrimonious part of the whole scheme. Facts. Martin, Odegaard, Martin Odegaard was the only one cutting, cutting through that midfield. Exactly. In, in the first half, our midfield was that good. Why tinker with the midfield like that? The midfield just... was good in the first half. <laughs> Look, if if Tony, you're doing Tony. anything in that midfield, you should be bringing Thomas Partey to solidify that midfield. It was okay. Yes, yeah, and it on, it. I just want to highlight this comment. Yeah, big up to his lair, by the way. He makes a great point because about Odegaard being subbed off. Because you, you saw here today, man. That's big up right, there, man. But you, you saw Ante as a uh, fin off the game saying why is Odegaard subbed off? Because apparently he was carrying an injury. Well, on that basis, we we spoke about Saka holding his hands. So why so why did Saka play then? If he was injured as well, so it, it just makes this whole Odegaard thing being injured a bit suspicious, as here today says. I think he, I think he makes a great point. Arnett took him off because apparently he was carrying an injury. So why didn't you do the same for Saka? It, it's a lie. It's a it's a lie. Oh, do you believe that? No, of course. Do you believe? Course, but... no, was course, he playing but... like someone who was injured? That's a lie. It's not true. And again, let's not act as if this manager hasn't come out to lie before. He he's lied. Mm. Yeah, the manager has lied. Yeah. He has come out to this fan base and told us lots of lies about Thomas Partey. We see Thomas Partey in training. He keeps telling us that this guy's injured. But this guy's okay to play. And the guy's still okay to play. And he's not playing him yesterday. He didn't play him yesterday to play. It's lies. It's all lies. It's not true. Odegaard is okay. Of course. He's, so, he's not carrying any injury. The person carrying the injury... It's Bukayo Saka. I told you in the first 10 minutes of that game, he was mm. clutching his hamstring. Now, that's the one that's with an injury and why there's no substitutions for him. Why is it the one that there's no question about his fitness that's been hacked away? It's a lie. It's, it's lying. And this Arsenal fans just gazump this lies and take it. Bro, oh, man. That's a problem, man. That's a problem. And... As I said, this manager will be here next season, Tony. You know, the board will give him another money to spend. It'll be one billion spent as an Arsenal manager. And it'll be the same. It's like, it's like a circle at Arsenal Football Club, man. Literally. Get our hopes up, a, then bottle it. There was, there was a clown I saw on Twitter today, and, and it was like, um, the guy normally posts normal stuff about football. Like, he's a good guy. Yeah. Mm. And then I just saw him posting him, uh, uh, if you want to make a Lateta out only after one game in 12, after one loss in 12 games, please just delete me out of your Twitter right now. I just went to the unfollow button and unfollowed the clown. Are you kidding it's, me? Yeah, it's not just one game. What is he on about, man? This has been, <sighs> this has been accumulation of many, many seasons now. I even, I even like... But I even said the example when we was trying to get top four. Yeah, he, we 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 capitulated there. We finished fifth that season. Yeah, we, we lost to Newcastle and Tottenham. That was the early signs there. You know, last season we all know what happened. Eight points clear. Southampton came along. Yeah, West Ham when we went two 0 up. Mm. When we got battered three 0 by Brighton, 
when the test against Man City happened, we, got, we lost 4-0. We could pick, he, he bottled it there. And now the same story this season. So when he says it's just one game out of 12, no, mate, it's been three seasons of this. Yeah, people made the excuses saying, oh... Three or four... Bro, yeah. this one has come, eight, I think, eight twice or something like that. Oh, yeah, it's of course. Eight or something like that. Bro, bro, man, this manager has had acrimonious positions in, in this league. Let's not forget about that. He only started challenging for the title last season. And he bottled it last season. That wasn't even a total challenge in a way. And this season where we should be challenging for this, you know, we're bottling it right in front of our eyes. Yet again, a manager was sacked from this football club in and replaced him with Mikel Arteta came down to dunk on us in our own home. Oh, That's my God. Point. Embarrassing. Bro, man, if there's nothing, if, if that doesn't embarrass you as an Arsenal fan, then, then why, why are you a fan? Like, mm. Mm. why are you a fan? If that doesn't embarrass, bro, these are embarrassing scenes. Like, exactly. What, like, how can you be an Arsenal fan and not be embarrassed that the manager that you sacked, yeah, came back and did, see, he did a double on us this year. Oh, my God. It's just, it's, it's just, it's yeah, cool. it's just absolutely embarrassing. Shameful. I mean, Bro, Aston Villa. Aston everyone Villa. everyone uh -huh. took the piss out of Emery, man. Everyone took the piss out of Emery, and he's come back and absolutely dunked on us. He dunked twice. on us, man. And keeping dunked two clean sheets. We didn't even Real score hard. against him, Tony. We didn't even score against him. Both games. He kept both clean sheets against us. Both games. Yeah, why is it? And this is, as I said, not the first time. Even at Villarreal, we came to the Emirates. And beat us. He's, so he's beaten Arteta four times. Then, what? What? Why can't like, Arteta beat Emery? It just that second half we looked like clowns. We defended like clowns. It was a clown show. The goalkeeper, uh, uh, bro. The defending, no arrangement, mm. nothing. Like, it, bro. Like, I can't. No coercion when playing as a unit. Kai Havertz was just running like a headless chicken. But Karasaka ghosted completely. The midfield was yep. laid out and stretched out. Leon Bailey was having a field time on the left-hand side. Uh, Zichenko was out there doing captain inverted in the right-hand side when a goal was being scored at the left-hand side. <clears throat> bro, bro, everything about the game. Declan Rice is supposed to be our CDM helping us out completely lost the plot yesterday. What was he doing? Another stinker. The, bro, man, everything looks bad, horrible, couldn't take our chances. Kai Havertz fluffed his lines. Gabriel Jesus always on his bum, always whining. Did you oh, see this chances guy, for uh, Gabriel Jesus? Oh, let's talk about Gabriel Jesus. This guy, Tony. Let's talk oh, about Gabriel Jesus. Let's days, talk about him. Let, no, 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 no. Let's talk about Gabriel Jesus. Tony, four league races. goals, Let's four talk league goals this season, bro. Four league goals this season for Arsenal Football Club. And he's the main guy, apparently. He's, he's a striker that's going to... He, he's the main guy, yeah? This... Oh, I'm sorry. I've, 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 I've had enough of him, Tony. I'm sorry, yeah? And look, he has to go in the summer, right? Yeah, he there's plenty go, of players. Right? There's not just him. There's plenty of players that needs to go in the summer, yeah? Eddie Nketiah is another one. I don't know why. He, did you see when he came on? What? what 87th minute, Nothing. Eddie He's been on Eddie Nketiah. The Seriously. king of Zamunda. Clueless. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Spot on, yeah? Like, he's got to go. Jesus has got to go for me. I'm I'm sorry, yeah? He is... I've had enough of him, Tony. I really have. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, people. But the guy is just simply not clinical enough. He's not clinical enough. As you said, he's always on his ass, Tony. Literally. He's and whining and whining. And he's whining. giving me that. He's giving me that 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 um uh, um what's this match to United player? Fernandez. Bruno Bruno Fernandez. Fernandez, Bruno Fernandez. That whines a lot and, and, mm. and you know bro I, and I hate when men whine a lot, you know, you know. That, 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 he's oh my. Again, he's another one who, who's made a glass as well. You know, he can't stay fit for a whole season. We need someone to that we can rely on. We need someone who is clinical enough up front 
but, and Gabriel Jesus. But wait, but like again, who relied on this guy to get us goals? This guy came out and said, even before the general transfer window, and said, goal scoring isn't isn't my thing. How 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 can how do you say that as a striker? How how how, how can you? How can you come out and, and say that's that? the striker, that's striker that we're hoping to get us over the line in in a title decider against Aston Villa that are vying for the chance. And see, let's don't let's totally don't forget that Aston Villa are also vying for the Champions League. Yeah. Also, you know, so they're, they're genuine the contenders for that Champions League spot too. So they were coming for the fight. They were coming for the kill, and. Uh, you know, and it's just frustrating to see Arsenal fans saying that first half. Oh, you know, uh, 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 you know, we've got them on lockdown. The second half, we'll deal with them. You know, all these excuses. Th- th- this is a side that's willing to go to the Champions League, and they're really, they're really willing to cut off their balls, and and you know, they're ready to go to the ends of the earth to make sure they defend with their lives, and and uh, you know, and get over the line. And that's what they did yesterday. Mm. They got over the line. They defeated us. They beat us up. They smashed us up. They humiliated us. Even Leon Bailey said it. It was humiliating. He said, oh, bro, these guys haven't having mercy on us. He's saying it. He said it was yeah. humiliating, bro. Absolutely so was. It it's shocking, man. It's shocking. No Arsenal fan should be going through this, through this type of torture. This is torture. And and this kind of torture isn't good. It isn't good, you know. Mm. I just pity these younger kids, you know, that that aren't seasoned in, in seeing these losses after losses after losses. This young kids, this younger generation. Yep. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for them, man, because this mm. is the pain that we go through. This is the pain that this is the emblem that we've had to put on a patch on our arm and carry it round with us. This pain, this this losses, yeah, you know, this beatings, this maiming, yeah, and and man, it's painful, man. I'm sorry mm-hmm. to every fan who had to go down there, spend their hard earned money, and you know how expensive these tickets are these days, yeah. Two hundred pounds, three hundred exactly. pounds. I had a friend who spent about four hundred pounds to just. Go grab that ticket last minute. Even the shirts, even the shirts, like hundred quid for a football for an Arsenal shirt now, Tony. It's crazy, bro. Bro, and then you spend that money to go watch that crap, bro. I know leaving the stadium is a disgrace, yeah. but bro, who would pay up to three hundred pounds yeah. to go? Yeah, see, true. To, to see Aston Villa rubbish us in that way and disgrace us in that way. Yeah. No, I hear that. Bro. I hear that hundred percent, bro. Yeah, for real. It's it's a joke, Tony. Um look, score prediction, my friends, for for this playing game. Is it is is it gonna be one of those where we go there and get absolutely piped? Yes, yes, yes. It's gonna be one of those, yes. yeah. You're saying, yeah. Yes, yes. Um we're, we're gonna be destroyed, man. Yeah, and no jokes. See, I'm even I'm even going five two. Five two. Wow. Yeah. Bayern will they will lynch us at five goals to two. It's gonna be a bad beating, man. It's gonna be a bad one. And As you said, man, like you'll be refereeing. So yeah, I will. I will thank God I will be missing that game. Uh, you know, uh, it, it's gonna be bad, man. It's gonna be so bad that anyone yeah. who is watching that game will wish that you never laid an eye on that game because with the way we're defending right now, bro. Unless we change our defense, if we don't make changes to that defense and we leave it that open, it's finished. Come on, man, it's finished. Leroy Sane would just cut in into yeah. that defense on, he absolutely on stopped cooked on challenge. He absolutely cooked us in the first one. So imagine this guy at the Allianz Arena with the fans shouting, uh, you know, with oh, the Ferris fans getting behind their team. Bro, it's finished, man. It's finished, man. I mean, finished. you got Musiala as well, Jamal Musiala. Oh, oh, do you seriously? Do you want to go there? Seriously, <laughs> Josh, do you want to go there? <laughs> yeah, we we, do we you, do uh, part, No, man. you just mentioned Musiala. Do you want to go there? Really? Really? Do you really want to go there? Come on, bro. 
Don't go there, man. Yeah, we're doing, bro. Don't go we're there, man. Doing. That's a heart attack. That's a heart attack. We'll be beaten there by five goals to two. I, I, I see more goals even being scored, but I'd be humble about it and say five to two to Bayern Munich, man. They, they will beat us. And it's going to be a bad beating, man. Yeah, and I'm, I'm for me, I'm in the same boat as you, Tony, man. In terms of that, we are not going there and getting anything out of this game, guys. I think the first leg, I, I said it at full time in the first leg, that was an awful result. <laughs> that was an awful result at the Emirates. You know, that was where we, we, we could have got made made a statement, got a win, and actually got something to hold on to in the second leg, going away at Allianz. But now we got nothing. We, as I said, I, I don't see a way where we where we win in 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 in, in over the the whole you know full time and the whole ninety minutes. I don't see it because we're not keeping a clean sheet at Bayern Munich, guys. We're not, and uh, and plus they will play differently to how they played against us at the Emirates. And you know how they counter attack us at the Emirates, yeah? They will come yeah. out and play because they're at home, exactly. hostile crowds. They definitely will. And again, um, Josh, yeah, have you noticed that our set pieces, yeah, have gone back to the same way it was yeah. Yeah. worse at the start of the season? Worse, exactly. Numbers. It's What's gone worse. On? We're no more scoring from set pieces. The arrangement is no more orchestrated in a way that should actually give the players who are, you know, who are in the 18-year box with the advantage of actually, you know, heading it in. Uh, mm. It's looking bad. Arsenal is the highest goal uh, scoring side, uh, scoring with with set pieces. What has happened? Why have the goals dried up suddenly from set pieces? Why has the Glen Rice stopped taking our corner kicks? Why is yeah. Michael Saka and going on? all this disgraceful lot here yeah, just just taking the corner kicks right now? You know so. You know, we keep changing from the things that are working. The Glen Rice taking corner kicks. Now it's someone else. So I don't understand. And again, what was that stinker from Trossard yesterday? Oh. Yeah, you, you, you know, you, you know me, guys. I'm a big fan of Trossard. I'm a big fan of him. But once again, he was he was awful. It was absolutely shocking. Like, but, but the, the thing is, this whole the whole team for me yesterday, the, the only one I said it, the only one I could really hold his head up higher for me, especially in that first one, was was our captain, Tony Odegaard. But until he got subbed off, yeah, he's the only one on that pitch who can hold his head up higher. The rest, I, I, I can't think of another player on, on that pitch yesterday who actually came on or who played who was on a similar level to Odegaard. And, yeah. and, and and that that is embarrassing, yeah. That very is embarrassing. embarrassing, man. On its own, it is. On its own, it is very embarrassing, man. It's painful. I I I will go with five two. They will beat us, and, and they will beat us badly, man. We'll be badly burnt down there. Then and that's it, that. it, the kind of burnt we're going to be burnt here. Yeah? It's it's that gallus type where the whole defenders will be sitting down on the ground, and 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 putting their heads down. Yeah, that's the kind of one. It, the kind of beating we're gonna get from there, man. The whole players will sit down and just capitulate mm. Mm. at Allianz Arena. It's gonna be bad. I've like always, it, man. When we always go to Allianz it's Arena, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna like be bad. Always. Yeah, they're gonna scotch yeah. us down there, man. Be out the Champions League. Champions League will be done. Premier League's done. Premier League Season. is done. Yeah, it's over. Everything done. Everything is done. It's over. It's finished. It's 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 finished. It's over. It's on unless City decide to. <laughs> to <laughs> but they've never I done it. it. When they get to this position, Tony, they've they've never done that. They always they go for the to... kill. I, I, and that was how I was telling Arsenal fans and people who come to my channel. I was telling them this is why we needed that that win against City. Yeah, this is why we needed that cushion against City. The moment we went defending against City, yeah, that that's the cause of all these problems right now. Right now, we've refused to actually even do defending right now. We can't even score goals no more. Because that pattern mm -hmm. has been changed. It has been tweaked. And right now, we can't even revert to our normal position in terms of scoring goals and, and getting the grip once again, man. 
like I don't know. It's it's painful, man. It's painful, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry we had to make this show cry, guys. Yeah, but that's how we feel. That's how we yeah, feel. It's just real talk, just... guys. You know what we 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 get with this show, man. You know, me and Tony, no matter how we, we say how it is, man, <coughs> it's just real talk. Yeah, mm. it's just, this is this how we feel about a football club. And um, yeah, shout out to Rory who was in the charts, man. Real yeah, big up everyone in, in both chats there as well, guys. Big I agree, local badges also as well, here. Man. Malia was here. Big up to these people. Yeah, amazing people in the chat, man. Thank you very much to, for supporting both of us as well. Uh, thank you yeah. very much for leaving all your comments as well. Really do um, appreciate it, man. Uh, and um, yeah, Tony, my guy, um, <sighs> season's done for me. And for you as well. Um, season is done, man. <laughs> it's done. I can't just yeah. wait for this for the remaining games to be played so that I can just yeah. go and take a rest. Man, exactly, done, bro. Exactly. This season alone, I've done nearly up to 200 streams. It's all for Yeah. Nothing. For this exactly, football bro. club, thinking that this year, after what we did last season, thinking that we'll go, you know, step it up a notch and, and declare our standards are higher and, and decide to win a title this season. No. Michael Arteta throws everything away. You threw the FA Cup away. Uh, yeah. You acrimoniously sent the Gunners out of the Kalin Cup. Bro, this guy has done everything, yeah, to dump us out of every cup competition this season. Exactly. And right now, he has just allowed the, the league title slip off our hands, and then we'll be going to Germany to get scotched uh, 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 on, on Wednesday. And then it's over. It's done, man. It's done. Tony, my guy, thank you very much for coming on. As always, this show, Thanks, man. you know, really uh, enjoy this show with you, my guy, as always. Every Monday, this is, guys, um, you know, on my and Tony's channel. So hope you guys enjoy the show. I, I know everyone comes in and, and, ha and has their opinions and has their say. So I really do appreciate yes. everyone uh, who left a comment today. And, um, yeah, um, Tony, my guy. Big up as always, bro. You know, yeah, man. always keeping it real and uh definitely yeah. man. Oh. And Josh, you too, man. I know this, I know this game really hurt you too, man. Because I I checked out your stream too, man. I knew I, I saw it hurt you, man. I, I, I saw how you felt, man. It was bad. It was bad. You know, I, I hope you get through this too, man. You know, because you're yeah. you know, you're an Arsenal fan, and and and, and with the little I've seen, you're a true true arsenal fan you don't deserve this man you don't deserve this you deserve arsenal winning trophies you deserve arsenal yeah uh, uh, getting over the line and bringing the big trophies down uh, you know i see you i see your work ethics i see what you bring to the table i see what you do down here with, with rory shout out to rory that's a great guy you know i see everything i see the effort you put down here uh, respect, yet man. the gunners can't even reciprocate by even giving us that glory that we so desire this season, man. And and that leaves a bit of taste in my mouth. Uh, mm. You know, you know, it's, it's, it, I don't know. Yeah. I don't we know. Definitely, yeah. It, we don't horrible, deserve it, man. man. We don't deserve it as fans, you know, and, you know, <laughs> we both support this club more than any, anything. You know, we both do, you know, do our shows and, and have our opinions and back this team. And it's what happens, man. This what happens year in, year out, bro. And yeah, what what can we say, man? It's the same old Arsenal. Same old Arsenal, man. So yeah. Um, Tony, my friend, you got any um uh, content coming up yourself this week? Bro, to be very sincere with you, I wanted to just cancel all the whole shows. I don't mm. want to do anything this week, but yeah, again, again, I don't want people to say, Oh, we lost, and that's why you don't want to show your face again or something. I don't, it's not about that, it's it, it's more about the disappointment of what's going on. Like, like this thing hit me so hard, man. Like, like I just felt I wanted to smash my head on the wall. It mm. was just that. It was just that bad, you know. But you know, I'll still go on with my shows this week, man. You know, just just so that it won't look as if you know, you know, it won't look as if I'm, I'm backing off. I, I never back off from a challenge. I never back off of defending the Arsenal when I have the chance to. But again, how do you defend this rubbish? How do you defend this this crap? And look, Big Steve is down on my channel. 
And uh, it's having big a big Steve, laugh. Man. Shout out to Big Steve, man. They got Big, <laughs> Big Steve, Steve, bro. Come on, my guy. Oh, my days. Big Steve. He's, oh. he's loving it, man. He's loving it, bro. <laughs> Big Steve is rubbing it on my face right now. Oh, my <laughs> days. Look at what he's doing. Oh, my days. See, Big Steve, man. You've done, you've done it again. You've done Fair it play. again. Fair play, yeah. Done it again. Fair play. You've done it again. You know, you've done it again. Congrats to you, Big Steve, man. You've done it again. Arsenal What's that, Tony? Is, is, is that four years again. in a row now they've done it as well? Four years in a row they've done yeah, it man. the title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be a 4P. There's no stopping Manchester City, you know, from now on. They, they would get the win. They would win all their games. They would team roll these teams and make them look like poppers. They're going to beat them up so badly, yeah? And 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 it's going to be a 4P. It, see, it, see, it's, it's going to be hard, yeah? It's going to be hard to actually say this, yeah? It, it mm. belongs to City. It's it's hard to conceive this. The title belongs to City. They're better than us. They're better than all these teams. They've just shown that they're better than Liverpool. They've just shown that they're better than Arsenal. They've just shown they have a better mentality. They've just shown that they have better players. They've just shown they have the best manager in the world. You know, they've just shown that they have character. They've shown everything. It belongs Facts. to them. Facts. I, I'll be, I'll be lying. I'll be lying out of my ass and my teeth if I, if I utter any other word. Uh, you know, putting Man City down. They're worthy of this title. They're worthy of it. We've shit our pants. We shit our pants, and and I'm sorry, man. We we just completely capitulated, man. And it's painful. It's hurtful. You know. I feel excruciating pain down here. You know, just thinking about Arsenal. After this, I'll take a long and hard, deep look uh, uh, at streaming for now. You know, because it, it, bro, it belongs to City, and 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 we will be liars. I will be doing a disservice to the people that listen to me if I stay out here and give them hope about Arsenal. We still have a long way to go. Yeah. If you don't bring me a, a big time striker by the summer, and that's it, I'll just stop doing streams. If they don't bring me a lucrative and prolific striker in the summer, that's it. That's because it, bro. It, that's it. Because this team can go against City. You know, live them. Daddy Kings. You know, Daddy Kings. Once again, we man. Can't compete. Once again. We can't compete with these people. We can't. We can't do it. It's painful. Tony, it, it really is. It really is, man. And um, I want to say, as always, bro, pleasure doing this show with you, my guy. And uh, I, I know today, you know, we're all emotional, you know, we're all very, very wound up about Arsenal. But yeah, anyway, it's, 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 it's always a pleasure talking um, just in general with you, my guy. You know, we always keep it Thanks, real. Very, very, very happy to always have you on and um, appreciate everyone who tuned in on both channels as well, guys. Really do appreciate Big it. Big ups, Juddy Dread. Juddy Dread is also here. He, he popped in to say hi to us. Big ups to Juddy Dread. That's my guy. Yeah. Big up, are, he's a Newcastle fan. Guys, if you want some um, great Newcastle content, please go down to Juddy Dread TV. He's a great, great, great person and a great person at heart, too. He's a great guy. Uh, and shout out Big Steve, you know, Big Steve. Big Steve has always supported yeah, me on my channel. Him, he came down to my channel and, and, and showed me love on my channel. And he's, he's always a big brother uh, uh, to me. And, and he's the only Man City fan that I actually do respect. You know, the others just talk yeah. out of their ass. But <laughs> I, I, I really respect um, uh, Big Steve. He's a proper, proper gentleman and, and he has character. You know, big up to you, yeah, Big Steve. Respect, and, and you deserve the title. Big Steve, there's no need for you to be humble, there's no big twist. Or anything, yeah. <laughs> you know, you've won it. Like, like, just throw away that humility, man. You know, you've won the title. You deserve it. You, you, you know, you have the character. You, you know, you, you've you've shown that you have the mentality. Go on and win it, man. We're mm. done. We're done out here. We're done. If yeah. we can beat Aston Villa, 
that, that, why would we go to Old Trafford and beat a dusty, dusty Manchester United? I, I don't believe it. Mm, it's done. I don't believe it's it. Done, I don't it's, believe it. it's done. It's done. It's finished. It's finished. It's finished. It's, it's finished. finished, man. Look, it's anyway, finished. guys. Hand, hand the title to Man City, guys. Yeah. Hand anyway, guys, them. look. We're getting ourselves out of here. Um, big out everyone who tuned in today on both channels, as I said. And uh, yeah, I'll be live with you right now, guys, for the podcast. Uh, me, Rory, Seb, Static as well. New guests coming on, guys. If you guys know Static. Yeah, Static. Yeah, yeah Static. Big guy. Well. Yeah, he's coming on as well. So yeah, it sh uh, should be good for that one, guys. And uh, yeah, Tony, take care, man, as always, bro. And uh, thank you very That's much right. for this today. And, uh, Thanks, everyone, yes. for joining us, yeah. Big up, guys. We're getting out of here. Yeah, big up. Uh, enjoy the rest of your, of course, weeks, even though yes. Arsenal is Arsenal. But just personally, guys, hope you guys have a nice rest of your week. And uh, we're getting ourselves out, out of here. Take care, guys. Mm. And uh, yeah, Peace. we're out of here. Peace. Yeah.